grab my bones on that saddle. Slap that pony low, let it ride, let it ride. Let it ride like the wind. And today we're honored to have to Willie T. Taylor. How you doing today, man? Doing good, man. How about yourself? Good, man. Uh, let's, let's talk about the first time you came to La Sierra Hold Down. Uh, you know, I was trying to remember most of it last night, yeah. and I don't. So it was real fun. I do remember sitting in here playing with Bobcat and recording him. Nice. I think that was the first year. How many years ago? Four, this was the, the first fourth one? one? Yeah. Was it, it the first one? I believe you know, so. Have you been here every year since? I think so. Awesome. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I believe I've been here every, to everyone. Like every I said, I have so <laughs> yeah. much fun. I, I have to live in the moment and just enjoy this one. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm having a great time, man. We're excited to see you tonight. Tell us about your band. Good luck thrift store outfit, right? Yep. You guys are here? Yep. We're all... We're all here, I think, except the drummer, but he's the drummer. You know. Yeah, you know drummers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we're actually playing with a seven-piece tonight. We got a new guy playing with us, uh, good friend Ben Reisdorf, and our friend Chandler Pratt is leaving the band, so this is like the transition show. Uh, oh, cool. Here's Ben. Goodbye, Chandler. It's going to be pretty special to us. Nice. Because you guys formed, what, quite a, quite a while ago. I think it's about 14 years, somewhere around there. Yeah. You said it was like a marriage. Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, how long have you been doing your thing, uh, the solo thing? We've actually, I, th I think everyone in the band, we've had been in a solid relationship with each other more than we ever have with any woman. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good thing. I mean... I, yeah, I guess. What's it like with, I mean, you travel around with that tenor, four strings, and just yourself, right? I mean, that's the majority of your year? Yeah, that's all I do. Yeah. I just play that tenor, 27 Martin is what I'm playing right now. It's a, it's a good little. It's a good little get, 27, Good little get, she, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so she's a little cranky, but. And how long have you had her? I think about almost four years now I've had this, three or four years. This one, I I was playing a 29 Gibson before that. Four string? Yeah. I've always played tenor, yeah. Now, what what got you into the, the tenor, the four string? Because it's the, the chords like a ukulele or, I mean, I, what? It's like a banjo. I started playing banjo and then um, and mandolin and I didn't really like right. singing with those and I always heard of this Irish folk guitar and then I found one and found a tenor guitar. I was like, oh, here we go. Now, now that's your thing. Uh, yeah, so I found one probably, I don't know, must have been about 26 years old, 25 or 6 years old. Nice. Yeah. I uh, like it. And let's talk about, like, your songwriting process now. I mean, you've written a lot of great songs. And how, I mean, is there a couple or that you that are just, like, you, your favorites to play, personally? Mm. Yeah, it's usually a new one. New material? Yeah, I just I guess I like keeping fresh, but I haven't wrote in a while. Been kind of just busy touring, so right. I don't. I usually write at home, so I don't know. Yeah, there's some pretty special ones, I guess. You know, I'm I mean, not can sure. Can we throw one out there that you're kind of like feel? I like uh, on, you know. I have this song called "The Cattleman." Or I call it "The Evolution of a Cattleman," and it's. It's, it's just kind of about, you know, the evolution of a cattleman starts off on his horse and young and right. always, and then gets old, and then he's on a tractor, and then he dies, you know? Right. And so it's it's both of my grandpas. And nice. That's so let's talk about how you came up. Where were you born? And I mean, I know we're going to get to the Janesville, Susanville connection, but let's talk about, like, where you were born and... That kind of stuff. Where um, you grew up? Oakdale, Knights Ferry, California. Just, uh, yeah, I lived there on a, on a cattle ranch in the middle of nowhere for the, the start of my life. And then, Desert? Uh, no, uh, Golden Hills. Oh, cool. Golden Hills. Nice. And, uh, yeah, in the middle of nowhere. It was, a, it was a really neat place to grow up. Hell yeah. And then my mom moved into town, and um, so we stayed with her, and then I'm just became a baseball fanatic, you know, my 
had stepbrothers and there's five of us boys just playing baseball all the time so it was um, it was a good thing and she worked in the prison system and so um, around when I started sixth grade I started it at Janesville Elementary I was the new kid so you moved to Janesville you were sixth grade yeah and then moved back for seventh grade to Oakdale and then moved back for eighth grade up here and then how long were you up there I mean did you graduate high school no, no, I, I left uh, eighth grade and went to high school at Oakdale. Oh, back so I and did forth. sixth grade, yeah. Okay, so you, like, your younger years were, were at Janesville grade in that that area. Yeah, and it was actually, uh, well, just sixth grade. Um, yeah. And that was the year that I got drafted to the Susanville All-Star team. Oh, yeah, the Little League World Series cats. Yeah, we were on the road. We, we had, That's awesome. We had, uh, to this day, some of the base, best baseball players I've ever played with. That's cool. Jack Moran, the left-handed wizard. Nice. Dana McCone was one of the truest ball players I've ever seen in my life. Bumper Moore, I still remember him. Like, uh, Hell yeah. I think it was a special time for all of us. Yeah, we'll never forget. You know? Yeah, and that's kind of a special thing for a kid. You know, the camaraderie you get you from your teammates and competition and, you know, that affect you. Yeah, and it's nice to be a new kid and be like, oh, who's new kid? Right. He, he's got pretty good arm. <laughs> he's got pretty good arm. <laughs> Because what position did you play? Right field. Right field, tight. But I was a catcher, but on the All-Stars, I was right field. Nice. Yeah. Talk about, um, you're out here on the road. Um, are, you on a, are you on a tour right now? Is this part of that? Or are you just, what's going on with you no, right I now? just finished, um, did Europe, the East Coast, did some South. Been busy all summer. and Yeah. This is the last... I got a baby due any day now, so oh, congratulations, yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah, she could be born tonight. You First one? No, third one. Third one, awesome. Congratulations. So I'm going to be, you know, hanging with baby cool. for the you winter. Cool, a little break for the road? Yeah, just do little one-off shows in California. Yeah, dude, let's get you to Susanville. We'll bring I you up. I'd set, I'd set something up. Um, I know the owners and the, the, the local establishment, so yeah, yeah that'd be, be kind of cool. Maybe some just old friends. Tim I Kellogg? You know Tim Kellogg? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. man. He was a year older. I, I love that guy. Grader. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's a seventh grader. Yeah, I think about Tim Kellogg all the time. He's one of those special guys that just had an ability to, uh, I don't know, crush it, whatever yeah. he does, nice. riding bikes, skateboards, whatever. He Super just, nice He's really guy. humble and really... And really a lover of music so, now. Oh, uh, man, pretty cool, I'd man. like to hang out with him. I, yeah, man, It's we'll funny that from sixth grade how somebody that's can a make crucial that point a lasting in your impression life. of, like, Hell yeah. and you just you learn how to be human. In a young man, you everybody, know, that's a big, and that's I guess a big I deal. learned to be human from Tim Kellogg. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> you know, part of Shout my, out to Tim Kellogg. He's a friend of ours. <laughs> Susanville cat. Um, let's go way back, Willie, and talk about your first memory of music. Your first memory of actual music in your life. Uh, one that stands out is uh, my dad was fixing a fence, and I was in the truck. It was like a, one of those Oakdale 110 hot days. California hot days. And I was just sitting in my underwear, and he had the Giants game going. Giants game was always going, but then the, I guess the game was over, and then the music started on this AM station. Yeah. And uh, it was... Um, El Paso by Marty Robbins. Oh, cool. And I remember staring out the window, looking at my dad, and then when I heard Marty Robbins start singing, I remember turning around and staring at the radio like, what the hell is this, man? And to this day when I hear that song, I go back to my underwear and my dad's going fence. I must have been about three, three or four, you know. Man, well, I appreciate your time, Willie T. Taylor. 10 minutes with Willie T. Taylor. You check him out. He's going to be a big name someday. He's already got a good following out there, man, and we appreciate you. Well, thanks. See you in Susanville. See you in Susanville. <laughs> Hell yeah.